In this video, we're going to go ahead and install a material editor so we'll be able to work with material files. And to do that, what you want to do is in the video description below the video, you want to select the link to the material editor. And once you get to this page, you want to select files, go down to the main files and go ahead and download this manually. You can donate to the author if you have money. I don't. I'll click continue with my download because I'm broke and I'll click open with. So I just want to go ahead and open it. And here we have the material editor. As you can see, it's just a single file. Now I'm just going to drop this inside of that Fallout 4 mod toots. I'm just going to drag it and drop it in there. It takes a second to extract. Now we don't have to double click this. What we're going to do is actually assign BGSM files to use this all the time. So I'm going to open up materials. I'm going to find a material. We'll go to the actors bloat fly and again I'm just in those extracted files and you can see there's the bloat fly dot bgsm now, I've already done this so the icon looks different for me but we'll go ahead and do it together so I'll right click on this I will say open with and I will say choose another app here and it says what do you want to open this with Windows is going to pop up in a second and I can say okay more apps and we'll scroll all the way down and say look for another app on this PC it's going to give me a window I'm going to go back to that G drive, to that Fallout 4 modding toots right here, and I will select the material editor. I'll go ahead and click open. Now we'll get into discussing more what material files are, and we'll be making use of, mostly we'll just be setting paths to our custom textures right here, but we're definitely going to need this. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and install NIFScope for Fallout 4. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.